I know a lot of you want to start a YouTube channel or maybe you already have and one of the most important decisions you'll have to make when English is not your native language, do I start in English or not? For me personally it was an easy decision because even though Dutch is my native language I speak English with Joanna all the time. But don't think that that makes it super easy for me, because it's not. This here, talking to you guys, is still the most difficult part of having this YouTube channel. My English is far from perfect, especially when I'm talking to the camera and even more so when it gets technical. So let me give you a few tips for starting a YouTube channel in English. If you're new here and if you're thinking about starting a YouTube channel, consider subscribing because I will not only try to help you, I will join you on the journey. Because I know how difficult it is, I know the struggles. Hit that button and join the community. Okay, now why would you want to start a YouTube channel in English? There are two important reasons. First of all, reach and growing your channel. If I would speak Dutch here, 99% of you wouldn't be here, that's just a fact. It's choosing between the easy way and having a possible audience of let's say 20 million people or put in a bit more effort and having the whole world as a possible audience. So if you're serious about your channel and you want it to grow, there's almost no other option. You have to start in English. I think maybe Spanish is also an option, but I can't confirm that. The second important reason to choose English as a non-native speaker is personal growth. No matter what happens, no matter how difficult it is in the beginning, your English will improve. And after a year of running a channel in English, it will have improved so much that it will give you confidence. And it will give you confidence for whatever else you're doing, not just the YouTube channel. So the only disadvantage is that for some of you, in the beginning it will be more difficult depending on how good your English is. But I guess if you're watching this video here right now, it can be that bad, right? Okay, so what can you do to make it easier? These are a few tips that worked for me. First of all, what you have to realize is that whatever you do, whatever you say, whatever happens, no one will see it unless you want them to see it. You can cut out whatever you want. And it's not so much knowing that that's important because you know that when you start your first video, but there has to be some kind of click in your brain. Your subconscious brain also has to realize it. Does that make sense? Look, when I was making my first videos, I did realize that I could cut out anything I wanted, but I was still super tensed up, wanting to repeat every sentence because I was just overthinking it. After a while, maybe 20 videos, your brain starts to change a little bit and you'll be a little bit more relaxed doing a video. That's just something you have to go through. Also, a lot of times, and this is really important, a lot of times when I thought I mumbled or, or stuttered or something, when I actually watched the footage, it wasn't that bad at all. It's only in your own head when recording the video that it sounds bad, but when you watch it, it's not that bad in 99% of the cases. This is probably one of the most important things that I've discovered. Your brain makes everything worse than it actually is, especially in a negative sense. Second tip, make notes, a script or keywords. I can easily have a conversation in English with just about anyone, but in front of the camera, it's different. And you don't want the extra pressure of having to think about what you're going to say while recording. Writing it down helps you to create structure in your videos. Some people can do it without, but in English, as a non-native speaker, I wouldn't recommend it. And when it's a very technical video, I like to write down every sentence so that it makes sense. If I don't write it down, I'd get lost within two minutes. Now, when I start recording, I don't reproduce the script word for word. It's just a guide. Tip number three, let someone else watch your videos and ask them what you think. And it doesn't matter if they have some remarks or critique, don't redo the video. Just upload it and then for the next video, maybe you'll have some things you can improve. When you watch yourself in the beginning, it always looks and sounds weird. But in most cases, for anyone else watching the video, it's not that bad. And even if you do sound a little bit tense or nervous, which is totally normal, most people watching on YouTube don't even care that much. That doesn't mean that they can't or won't give you any advice, but you have to ask them specifically. So it's always a good idea to ask someone close to you because they know you and they know how you act and talk naturally. It will improve over time no matter what, but that way you can make it go a little bit faster. 
And finally, make sure you're relaxed when you start a video and you might think, yeah, sure, that's easy, but it depends on so many things. First of all, make sure that you're confident about the idea of your video. And if you're not, just rewrite it a little bit. Also make sure you're prepared, sound, light, video. Do a test recording so that you know that everything works. You don't want to discover halfway through the video that your sound is not recording or anything like that. Also the environment, no distractions. If there's someone bothering you or if someone's mowing the lawn, just wait until they stop. Maybe you have a great microphone and you won't hear it, but those words maybe and what if in your head while recording make everything so much more difficult. Okay, that's about it guys. Now, if you're thinking about starting a YouTube channel, I would definitely recommend you to do it in English because it will be so much easier to grow your channel. You'll have the whole world as an audience and not just your country. And of course, that's more important if you speak a language that's only spoken by, let's say, 10 million people or 20 million like Dutch and if you don't want to do it because of that then do it for yourself because it will give you confidence thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one